Despite the increasing demand for data and evidence through the COVID-19 pandemic, existing health information systems in many countries remain inadequate and high-quality health data are not routinely collected. This means significant health challenges, such as breakthrough infections and vaccination rates, are not adequately measured or monitored, compromising the effective delivery of programs and policies. The first SCORE Global Report 2020 found that nearly 50% of countries have limited capacity for systematic monitoring of healthcare, and only 4% had sustainable capacity to optimize health services data to effectively deliver health services. In collaboration with partners, WHO has developed a routine health information systems toolkit for data analysis and use, which has been implemented in almost 50 countries with the goal to increase coverage. Routine health information systems collect health services data directly from health facilities. They provide close to real-time information on performance and quality at all levels of health services to monitor progress, identify problems, and address them through integration and data use. Establishing data standards and effectively using digital tools and making systems interoperable is critical to unleash the power of routine health information systems to improve the availability of services, increase access to quality health care, monitor triple billion targets, and fast-track progress towards universal health coverage. While much progress has been made, more work is needed to strengthen the use of routine health information systems for improving services, policy design, and addressing non-communicable diseases and mental health conditions. The RHIS Global Consultation is a unique opportunity to bring partners together to provide the right solutions, rapidly accelerate progress towards global goals, and deliver impact in countries. This is our opportunity to share and leverage best practices, resources, and country perspectives on optimizing routine health information systems so we can get back on track to 2030.